So these fan fiction ideas are more or less a compilation of various Loud House crossovers I really wanted to do. And I know what you're thinking, but why do you have an image of uh, Scooby-Doo on here? Well, one of the major ones was Scooby-Doo, so I was like, yeah, here's a little frame of reference for you. I know, I'm talking about Loud House crossovers, and yet I'm using an image of Scooby-Doo. The irony's not lost on me, people. So yeah, this is just a various little stories here and there that I never really thought more of more than just ideas, so I figured, ah, eh, fuck it, I'll just talk about it here. So anyway, our fir the first one I really thought about was Scooby-Doo with Loud House. Now, Loud House and Scooby-Doo just seem kind of natural to me, and I know it's to some people it sounds kind of weird to have them together, but when you think about it, it kind of makes sense. I mean, um, their first big episode was them investigating something like Scooby-Doo. Uh, when they thought they had a ghost in the house. And, of course, Lincoln's fav one of his favorite shows, if not his favorite show, is ARG, um, a ghost hunter type show. So, yeah, it kind of makes sense uh, to have them. And, yeah, to be fair, if Scooby-Doo can team up with, like, The Undertaker, and they can team up with Kiss, and have John Cena show up in an episode... And, yeah, we've got uh, Scooby-Doo team up, which recently had him team up with Swamp Thing. So, yeah, I, I think I'm good, I think I, you know, there's a case for this. Anyway, so the idea for this story is that there's um, something strange going on at Flip's uh, convenience store. There's something going wrong, uh, weird at Flip's convenience store. And Lincoln's like, oh, maybe we, you know, maybe it's a ghost. Maybe we can get Hunter Specter to come investigate. And Flip's like, I don't know about that. I can't do a Flip voice, but Flip's essentially like, yeah, this, you know, I don't care, maybe it'll get me, um, maybe this ghost will get me some revenue, you know, maybe if I, you know, pimp it out, maybe this ghost, whatever it is, will get me some revenue, and who else, who should be stopping by to get some gas other than the, uh, Mystery, than Mystery Inc., who are curious about it. So, it's more or less Lincoln and Clyde with the, the, um, Scooby and the gang, slowly trying to figure out if this is a ghost or not, uh, Turns out it is, but it's the ghost of a. It's the ghost of the original owner that Fli that um, Flip used to work for, and he's mad that Flip has kind of been very stingy about it and was trying to teach him a lesson, ghost you know, Christmas, ghost of Christmas past style, or future. That's a better term. Can't I can't make words apparently. So that was kind of the idea, more or less. Um, the other idea, the other. Um, few ideas I had for for another version of this is that um, Lucy accidentally summons all the the um, pa the uh, pets they've lost over the years, and they begin to run amok across the house. And of course, they can't get anybody, but they can't get a hold of Hunter Specter, who freaks out. He's like, "Oh my God, that's a real ghost! I'm getting the hell out of here!" But thankfully, Mystery Inc. shows up to save the day. So those were kind of the two ideas I had for this, and I really wanted, like, some scenes like, um, like, uh, Daphne really connecting with, uh, Lori and Lenny, you've got Velma and, uh, <laughs> Velma and Lisa hanging out, um, Scooby, uh, Scooby and Shaggy with Lincoln and Lana, like, yeah, mem various members of the, uh, Scooby gang, and could you imagine Luna doing her own version of, of, um, the Scooby-Doo theme? Yeah, you're just picturing it now in your head, and it's awesome. Like, that, if this was an episode, that would be the ending of the episode where everyone's partying and Luna's doing the song, um, you know, doing the classic Scooby-Doo song. Or, What's New Scooby-Doo? Because that's actually a good theme. That's actually a good theme. I like, I, I like What's New Scooby- the What's New Scooby-Doo theme. And I like What's New Scooby-Doo on a whole. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So the follow- so another one I, I, uh, thought about, um, I thought about as a crossover is a Superman crossover. You're already thinking, okay- Zilla, stop. <laughs> um, no, let me explain. So the idea is that for um, Lisa, Lucy's birthday is that the, it, she wants to go to Metropolis. She wants to go to Metropolis for the week and, you know, because she's more interested in seeing Star Labs than Superman. Um, and she, while she thinks Superman's interesting at all, and Lincoln's really excited to see super, to possibly see Superman on the job, she's more interested in going to Star Labs. Well, when they get there, wouldn't you know it? Superman's in a battle with Titan uh, with Titano, the radi the giant radi um, kryptonite shooting gorilla or chimp, actually. However, during this little um, tussle, a piece of debris um, knocks Lenny out, and when she and she gets separated from the rest of the Louds. During which, 
um, during which she wakes up and thinks she's Supergirl and proceeds to try to take on crime, which doesn't go well. <laughs> so, so, so the rest of the team, you know, team, the rest of the family looking for Lenny, um, contact Clark Kent, who, uh, who were like, yeah, you guys, kn you know, you and Lois Lane know Superman. Maybe he can, you know, take time out of his busy schedule of being a Boy Scout. Because they're, like, aside from Lincoln, the rest of the, of the sisters are like, yeah, no, Superman's just a Boy Scout. He's just a big old Boy Scout. So Superman has, you know, Clark is kind of dealing with all of them um, while as Superman, and they're slowly starting to realize of why Superman matters and why he is the way he is. So that was kind of the core of the idea. And along the way, they would run, like, Superman would have to, like, save the rest of the Louds um, from other Superman villains. There's no, like, big Superman threat. It's just that, oh, random villain appears. It's more about Superman connecting with the new generation and these, you know, all of the, each uh, uh, chapter would have been about Superman kind of connecting with each of the Loud siblings in their search for Lenny, who, again, thinks she's Supergirl. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, there you go. There's that was my idea for that one. Now the um, the next one is a little out is a little just uh, kind of ridiculous, but it, it's supposed to be. The, the next crossover idea I had was um, was basically Loud House crossed over with Tom and Jerry, and yeah, I know what you're thinking. Well, that's just ridiculous. Again, that's the point. And it, uh, the idea was it was supposed to play out like a regular Tom and Jerry episode, in that uh, Tom and Jerry both separately get adopted by the Louds. Lincoln actually gets his own pet when he adopts Jerry, and Lana comes home with, with Tom. And it's a Tom and Jerry episode, but in the Loud house, you know. You've got each of them running through all the rooms, and either, you know... Uh, Jer like, uh, Luna plays a loud chord and it just busts Tom's eardrums, or he gets thrown out of Lori and Lenny's room while he's chasing around Jerry. Because, the, like, the whole room, the whole house just leads to so many comedic moments for Tom and Jerry to get into. And again, we had them in, um, we had them in The Wizard of Oz and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. We had those two crossovers. Not good, mind you, but they happened. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of the idea. So there you go. Um, the fall, the next few ideas are more or less like a mishmash, or like one big hodgepodge of an idea, where the um, the whole story is that it's a series of crossovers. Not so much team ups, but more like the Louds are on a long um, are on a long road trip, much like in the episode Tripped. But along the way, they keep stopping in various towns and cities. And run into various characters. Like one, like um, one story is the car breaks down in the middle of Peach Creek, and Ed, Ed and Nettie get the idea to fit to pretend to be a um, car repair shop, and of course hilarity ensues when the Eds try to fix a car. Also during that time, Lenny and Ed form a friendship. And also, I had this moment in mind where Lincoln and Eddie are, Eddie's like talking to Lincoln, he's like, Dude, how do you get so many chicks? And, I'm, and he's like, uh, dude, those are my sisters. Oh. Right. Sorry. <laughs> so, and he's like, um, so the tall blonde one available? <laughs> and of course, Lori beats the shit out of Eddie. Meanwhile, you've got Ed and, and Lenny becoming, um, friends in a way, um, even though Lenny, Lenny thinks Ed is kind of gross, but at the same time she's like, you know, you're kind of funny. However, May kind of catches wind of this and loses her shit. So that was kind of the idea for that one. Um, in another story, they go, uh, you know, during this road trip, they go, you know, they end up in Springfield, um... They uh, end up taking up residence at, uh, you know, they take up residence with the uh, with the Simpsons. That's as far as I got. There was another one where they, you know, go to Norrisville. You know, they stop by Norrisville and run into, of course, uh, the ninja who, <laughs> who Luna is like, uh, excuse me, uh, Lori is instantly swept up in after uh, the, after Randy saves her life as the ninja, and she's already like, I, you know, Bobby's neat and all, but that's the ninja. 
So that was kind of the idea I had for that one. Another one was like they go to the, they end up in the park in regular show, and Lincoln hangs out with uh, Rick, uh, Mordecai and Rigby. A another one was like they run it, you know, they end up in San Francisco in in uh, San Francisco, and they they hang out with you know. They hang out with the bears, of course, from We Bear Bears. And I also wanted a moment with the regular show and bear moments where it's like, did that bear just talk? And another was like, you're a giant bird man. And is that a gumball machine talking? What? What? <laughs> yeah, so that, I just want him to, like, bring up those points. Like, I want them to go to Beach City, like, they think it's going to be, like, a like they want to go for Beach City to the in the summer. Um, Lincoln ends up in a crazy adventure with, um, with Steven, um, hunting a gem monster. Another one's where they're, like, they end up in, Etch they stop by Echo Creek, and, um, Lana and the other younger character, younger kids end up on an adventure with Star. Just a lot of random, like, hey... They're stopping in this town and having an adventure with this character. Or they're stopping here and having an adventure with this character. Like, another one was like, um... Uh, what was it? Like, they ended, they stopped by in Gravity Falls, and, um... How did they... Like, uh, when, uh Wendy and Lori become, uh, become friends. Um... Seuss and Lana actually, you know, Lana ends up helping Seuss with a, with a, with a like, a task she's trying to do. And, uh, with, yeah, what was it? Like, I want to do some, I forget what I wanted to do with Stan, is that basically, uh, Stan believes Lincoln's dad, uh, you know, the loud, fa uh, you know, Lincoln's dad, I'm tripping over my words, I apologize, but he thinks Lincoln's dad stole, uh, you know, ripped him off, so now he's trying, he's like, raining t holy terror on the, on the, um, on the Rita and Lynn Sr. this whole time, and, and Mabel is in on it, <laughs> and Dipper's just, like, hanging out with Lincoln, and he's just like, come on, he's gonna be like that all day, come on, let's, let's not bother him. So there you go, guys, those are just a multitude of, uh, Loud House crossovers. Again, a lot of, nothing's really, like, really out there, nothing really, like, super major, or, su well, the Superman one, granted, but... A lot of them were just kind of like slice of life kind of stories, no world ending kind of scenarios, no big um, giant ma uh, you know master plan or mo you know giant monster or something to that degree. It's just um, just a lot of fun, happy go lucky moments. Like another one, and this isn't really loud house centric. It was more of an idea of where it was more it, like gra if anything, it's more Gravity Falls centric. And basically the idea is that Stan, after watching a documentary on Woodstock, gets the idea in his head that he'll make a lot of, a, a shit ton of money by making his own music festival. And he goes online, rather than hire real bands, he hires a bunch of other bands, like he, and one of them is Luna, who gets the, who gets a, like an internet, uh, little flyer, or, you know, a little internet send out on, like, cre on, like, a version, like a, um, like a fake Craigslist or something. She's just scouring for a new guitar and is like, hey, there's going to be a, a music festival and they're looking for musicians. I'm a musician. I can do that. And you've got other people like um, Frida and the Anto Atomic Sombreros from El Tigre. They go. The Rain Booms from Equestria Girls go. You've got um, 30 Seconds to Math uh, uh, from, of course, Randy Cunningham. That's Randy and Howard's band. They go, and it turns out that the person, um, the person who's really kind of like pulling the strings here, and really like why all these bands are going instead of people Stan wants to get, uh, wants to have there, is really that it's um, Ember who's behind the whole thing who wants to steal their talent so she can get her powers back because she recently lost them in a fight with Danny. Speaking of Ember, I also had a Danny Phantom Loud House idea, and this was actually the first one I thought of in terms of Loud House crossovers was. Basically, the story is that um, Luna is at a pawn shop, and she buys an old guitar. However, the guitar she buys is um, starting to affect her. Like, she's getting rude, you know, her talents, you know, her skills are getting more and more, um, are getting better. Like, she's actually becoming like a guitar goddess, but at the expense, she's turning, you know, she's calling everyone, like, dipstick and loser like. And, you know, she's insulting her own friends and family. But, however, they soon discover that guitar used to belong to Ember, and Ember's possessing Luna. 
So they call in Danny Phantom and, you know, fight, fight, fight. Luna, you know, Ember is pulled out of Luna. Status quo, there you go. That was kind of the whole idea. So there you go, guys. A bunch of random ass ideas for Loud House crossovers. You guys tell me in the comments below. What did you guys think of um, these crossovers? Did you guys like them? Did you guys hate them? And did you guys have any ideas for Loud House crossovers? Just comment below. Let me know. Once again, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.